Hello everybody and welcome back to All the Mod 6 to the Sky. In this episode, we get bees. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm again paused because I just killed all my chickens and I got the bad omen effect for some odd reason and now we're getting a raid and I want to see how the hell this raid is going to work on a sky block. Okay, that's interesting. I don't understand what happened like I killed um, chickens there and then I got blinded and then you can hear these random mob sounds. Like there's block sounds placing and then there's other things. It's so weird. Okay, that howling is from that mob that was there. But there is like gas screeching TNT, like creeper, like hissing sounds and everything. And I do not understand what's going on. Like luckily enough, I can just kill these guys pretty easily because of this sword. Wait, what? There's more of them over here? Okay. This is so odd. Yeah, look, you hear the hissing sound from a creeper. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand this. It's like some sort of, like, curse sound. Hold on, just flew, flew off the map. Is that it? Hero of the village. Great. I did absolutely nothing. Except just kill all those guys. But yeah, I have no idea what happened. Like... All my chickens died, yeah, I understand that, but I just got the bad omen effect, and, yeah, I have no idea. I was starting to build the area for doing some bees, because, well, we need an area to do some bees. So, I was planning on building out this platform here, and then having bee stalls all along the sides here. So, that's what I was going to do, but then I got caught up now doing this raid, and I wanted to make sure I recorded the whole raid, because, well, I, I definitely want to make sure it was included. So, I'm going to go back to what I was doing and then we can continue working on some bees. Because we need to bring up our quartz game really soon. And I still didn't even mark off all this stuff yet. Um, so, let's work on making these bees. And actually, I need to book mark the rest of these bees. So, I'm going to make these things and I'll be right back. Okay, I have finished the bee area. And I've actually got it ready to go. So all I have to do is now is put the hives in there and then put the bees in. Actually, wait, no, I, I actually have to set up the automation for collecting the, what's it called, the, the honeycomb. So I'm going to have to actually put dispensers in the back of each wall here. But I'll do that when I'm putting the hive down. So I'll set everything up in one go. To get started with bees, I've now bookmarked every bee that we can possibly craft uh, there is all the other bees as well, but you get those by mutating these bees together. So, to get started, we want to make a quartz bee. And e that's pretty much the easiest one. It's just blocks of triple compressed quartz. And how many of this do we need? If we were to look at this, we need... What's that? Um, really, um, wow, I'm really bad at math. Six, seven, eight. We need eight. Jesus, I couldn't figure that out. So, if we were to go into here and set up auto crafting for making triple qu compressed quartz. Now, I know we've only got 70,000 quartz, but that might be enough to make triple compressed quartz. So, we're about to find out. So, we need to start by making a block of quartz. There we go. And then upgrade this block of quartz into a compressed block of quartz. So, this is a compressed block of quartz. There we go. Now, upgrade this to... The next tier, which is two times compressed quartz. And then upgrade this again to three times compressed quartz. Put that all in here. Like so. And now if we look up quartz, we want to get eight of these. Done. Now we just grab ourselves a dragon scale. Which we should have. Okay, we have 16 of them. Perfect. And that's it. And that's all you need to make a quartz B. Now it's raining, so that will actually harm them, so I need to be careful. But if we put the quartz down on this guy here, turn off hover mode, it's annoying me. There we go, put this there, set this up, broken particles, but whatever. Can I sleep to skip this rain, because it's actually annoying me? No. 
But now we have got ourselves a quartz uh, spawn B. Now we have the option to set up, change the spawner into a quartz B, or we can set up a mob duplicator to spawn in multiple Bs, which we might just use the mob duplicator. And the duplicator is actually not doing anything. It's right here. Mob duplicator. Yep, there it is. Oh yeah, the campfire, as I can hear. Okay, so what we need to do is grab ourselves some redstone clocks. Let's grab a couple of them. We're going to need to grab ourselves a couple dispensers. 46 is way more than enough. And we're going to have to grab um, a scraper for each one. And I've got eight hives at the moment set up. Because uh, that's all I could... I ended up doing because we don't there's 12 bees here and I set up eight things but that's enough so we come in here we break this and we put this guy here put this inside and then we need to go around the back out here and hook up the clock now I'm trying to remember I think it was like a 1616 was the magic number when I was using it back in all the mod 6 yeah, it just clicks every once in a while because when the bee goes into the hive, he'll produce multiple uh, comb. So just having it go really slow is just going to take forever to clear out the comb. But having it go really fast um, will make it clear out the comb really quickly. And if you want to get rid of this ticking sound, just look up dispenser in here and it'll say in here. So dispenser, dispense, mute, and I'll just put it down like on four because I don't want to be hearing it the whole time. But now we want to look at hive. We want to see, we can't go anywhere near that, so we have to start with a tier 1. But we have to make regular Minecraft hive first. So we're going to have to make a couple of these. So I'm going to make 3 stacks of these. So, boom. Actually, no, just a stack. And then we're going to make some grass. Like so. And now we just surround this hive in the grass. And then we got a stack. Now... Does it work? Okay, when I hold shift, it does that. But I don't want it to hold shift. Um, because of the way I'm looking at this thing. So, that's going to be slightly annoying. So, oop, nope, give me back them. And give me back the dispensers. And give me back the redstone clock. Okay, so I want to then grab myself a mob imprisonment tool. Because I just realized I want to be able to pick up the bee. So I can duplicate it. We're also going to now need some dirt, just to put down and put this on it. So, dirt. This should make it face the opposite way. Yep, I knew it. So, break this and put it down like this. Wait, what? Um, opposite. Oh, wait, so then, that is right then. We hold shift like this it should face it no oh, yeah so when that little line there is facing out the way it's in the right position so all we have to do is close this door put down the B and he will find his own way so we just need to grab himself him some quartz blocks so we'll just grab about 10 of them and he will just sit there and do whatever so I'm gonna give him a quartz block here and he will go down and start using that so I like using this pattern here because it gives plenty of quartz areas and if we wanted to we can put flowers in here and it just gives the area a nice design. Oh, you just saw him. He just went into the hive. He will now dis uh, deposit some quartz uh, comb and then this thing will pick it up or use it and dispense it because and then also while there, there's a campfire which will stop him from getting hostile. And also made this area underneath here. This is where all the campfires are and this absorption hopper. Which is set up to collect everything that the bee uh, drops. So I want to put down this this thing here. And let me center it a bit. Let's give it a little bit of place. And now I want to actually, you know what? This might be a good, better idea. If we were to make an ender tank. Uh, let's see. Tank. Ender tank. Where's an ender tank? There's an ender tank. If we were to make an ender tank and go down here and go to the wither farm and set up this tank right here. Actually, let me get some green dye first because I want to dye the top of this green first. 
And then we put this here, set this tank to input on the right and to push on the left. So it'll fill this tank with essence, which is exactly what we want. Come back up here and go over to where the mob duplicator is. Come down here. Has he dropped any home yet? No. Because I think these one says it has a max of four bees and a max of five comb. So we need to upgrade these things as soon as we can. And the only thing is, those bees are going to get a pretty aggressive if I went over there and just, like, broke their hive. Even though they're smoked, I'm pretty sure they still get angry. I have to wait for this bee now to pop back out again so I can um, duplicate it. I wonder. If I was to speed up the beehive, would that make them go a little bit quicker? You can see there's one quartz honeycomb in there. And the dispenser is not picking it up. But anyway, if I pick you up and come over here. Wait, will this actually dispense a quartz bee or will it give me a random bee? I actually don't know. So put the bee in there. I need to grab another ender tank, but I need to make green wool. So I'm going to do that. Grab a tank. There we go. Put this on the side here. Uh, wait, it didn't actually keep it? Oh, it must have just used white instead. Anyway, put that in there. And we want this thing to be on a pulse. We want to grab a button. Like so. And put the button there. And now if we grab some bee jars. So bee jars will allow us to pick up the bees easier. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of all this because I don't need it in my inventory. Alright, let's see. A bee should spawn. I forgot to get the thing power. Because there's a block right here, the bee shouldn't spawn up there. He should spawn within the two blocks here. Wait. A bee did spawn in there. What? That's interesting. Why did this bee spawn in there? Maybe I should put this in the floor. Break this block back. What am I using? I have an axe. Alright, put that there. Put the bee back in here and put the button on top. This thing is on pulse. Alright, this should spawn a bee. They spawn two bees. Well, that's actually more bees than we need. Um, Alright, that should be enough bees. I'm always going to hold on to one extra bee permanently. So we have two, three, and then this would be bee number four. There we go. Uh, so this bee can go into the system. No problem. So we have four quartz bees in there. Nice. Come down here. Do we have quartz C stuff yet? No, we don't. Uh, these guys are set up correctly. Yeah, they are. So I guess it'll be a little bit longer before we get another bee. Or any comb. Yeah. Alright, so let's work on the next bee. The next bee we want to make is a... I'm going to leave you in there as well. We're going to make a cobblestone bee. How hard is that? Cobblestone bee is just triple compressed cobblestone. And actually, you know what? We still have some compressed... Wait. Where did my compressed cobblestone go? Where's the compressed cobblestone we got in the stars? Oh, we got a reward. Clay. 64 clay blocks. Nice. No, I remember at the start we got a stack, like a... a what's it called? We got like plenty of cobblestone. Like it was one of the first rewards. Like in here or something. Was it a disc reward? Wait, I haven't done this yet? Oh! Wait, or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh! Um, okay, maybe I'm thinking, yeah, I must be thinking of something else because all I have to do is craft a la of lava bucket, craft a water bucket, and then craft this thing, and boom, we, we've got compressed cobblestone. And there's our tree compressed cobblestone that we need. Huh. Okay. Whatever. So, dragon scale. We just need one of those. And now let's go make the cobblestone B. And 
that should be good. Uh, what other bee can we make now as well? Because I want to make sure I get a good few bees done in this episode. There's no point just focusing on one bee. And then maybe next episode we'll work on seeing how to mutate these bees. Because if we look at B, for instance, we want to get an iron bee. An iron bee is a mutation between a stone bee and a quartz bee. Actually, no, you just breed them. Oh, okay, so I thought you had to mutate them. But it is a 60% chance of getting this bee. But then using the iron bee, there is a mutation chance? No. You just combine it with coal to get lead and combine it with redstone to get osmium. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. So here's our coal bee, our cobblestone bee. Let's set this bee now. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Bees like to stay in uh, their hive and at night. Uh, okay, so let's grab ourselves another mob imprisonment tool. We should be able to make plenty of these things. So that'll do. B, cobblestone B, put you in here. Grab my bee jars and spawn. Let's see, do we get two or one? Okay, we got one. Jeez, you look like an angry little fella in there. We got two different bees. Here we go. Actually, what do cobblestone bees actually use? Let's grab one more bee. Please don't be two, I just need one. Of course it'd be two. I'll kill you. No way I just got back the egg from killing that one bee. Damn. Okay, well, actually, you know what? I could have put him in the system. But the fact that we got a spawn egg is ridiculous. Uh, let's see. So, B. Actually, we could just look up in here. So, like, it shows what B. So, this B wants to use any type of cobblestone. Okay. So, that's handy enough. We got half a million of it. And we'll set you up in here. So, I'm going to have to break the floor to put down everywhere I want to put cobblestone. And now we can put the four cobblestone bees down in here, no problem. Two, three, and four. Please don't leave. They all want two to one block. Okay, let me sleep quickly. There we go. So all the bees should pop out and the thing... Yep, there we go. So we should see some comb. Oh, I actually picked it up. Turn off my magnet here because I don't want to actually pick it up. I want it to all get pushed into here. Nice. So now, well actually what a bee can we make now? We can't make the lumber bee because that requires us to get an astral sorcery. Uh, the magma bee requires, um, actually maybe we can do this. How hard is this to get? I need to put a magma cream or magma cube inside this thing with just lava. So that's actually not too bad. We have magma, other magma bee is this magma bucket which just comes from a fluid capulator. Uh, which comes from a melting chamber, which I could just bucket out of the melting chamber. The hell? Who said you could be here? What? My pickaxe just one shot the enderman. I did not know it could do that. Okay, so do I still have the cyclic thing set up? Or let me see. So I need a melting chamber. No, I don't. Okay, let me set that up. Where should I do it? I should set that up in lava power because, well, it's lava, so it makes sense. So I'm just going to hook you up there. Just grab some magma blocks like so. Put those in there. They should melt down. Grab a bucket. And how many buckets am I going to need? I'm going to need four of these buckets of this stuff. So I'm going to have to speed this thing up, I think, because this is not going to go fast enough. Never mind. There's already six buckets in there. No, don't lose that. How do I bucket out of it? I can't, so I need a tank. So, tank. And then I'm going to need a fluid pipe. So, pipe. And... Pipe wrench. This guy, to there. Pipe wrench is going to extract. And there we go. So, just grab these. Four magma buckets. Perfect. And now I need to go capture a magma slime. So... Mob imprisonment tool. I already have one on me. Let's go get one. Alright, got myself a big magma cube. Hopefully, he doesn't break anything when I put him in here. So, let's see. I am inventory is full of junk. So, put all this away. And let's put him in here. I know I'm going to put some blood in there, but... There we go. 
So there is some lava left in there. I might need to grab a bit more. So buckets of lava. And I'm going to grab about three of these. Alright, how much did that make? I have got magma cream. Wait. Not lava, magma. Magma, oh yeah, it is right thing. Magma cream bucket. A block is a bucket and I've got three slime balls in there. Uh, can I just put a slime ball in there? No. So does that mean I need even more magma slimes? Seems like it. Right, let me, I guess we have to go back to the nether and get more. Right, let me do that. Okay, apparently I'm blind or I was correct, but I realized I didn't actually have any lava in there. So I could have just used magma slime blocks the whole time. Uh, to get this, so... Rip, I did not mean to do all that, waste all that time just trying to hunt down magma slimes in the nether, so... Yay, I could just do this. And it will just melt down all of it in one go. And if I just grab myself some buckets, I can start pouring it out. So, boom. That makes one block, or one bucket worth, anyway. So, last bucket now, and let's grab ourselves a dragon scale. So, dragon scale, and let's go get ourselves a magma bee. I don't actually remember what the magma bee requires. Let's see, so you are want to use magma block. Okay, that's good. I was afraid there for a second he might want to have used lava. Uh, two more of these, and then the two more magma blocks, or... Buckets, do this, and this should make ourselves a magma bee egg. Nice. So, come down here, and let's start duplicating. Alright, so B, B, and then B and B. There you go. Grab a redstone clock. Grab it. There we go. And let's go out to the back. Put this down here. Set this to 16, 16. So, 16, 16. And it's good. So, why do you do they always navigate the one corner? So, now, we need to set up the way to actually... Um, nope, turn this off. I don't want to pick that up. We need to actually set up a way of being able to put this comb now into the system. So, we're going to have to set up importers and stuff. So, let's grab ourselves a import. Like so. We've only got one. We're going to need a couple of them. Uh, okay, so. Improved processor. I want to craft 64 of them. Go. Now, I can craft this guy. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Some cable. And we're also going to need to grab ourselves a trans wireless transmitter and receiver. Or actually, you know what? I don't even need to use these. If I just use pipe, uh, not pipe, logistical cable. Actually, you know what? Yeah, just use this pipe. Item pipe is grand with the ultimate things on it. And we just grab ourselves an ender chest. An ender chest would be perfect. Everything would be then put into one place. And I actually don't know where to put this ender chest is the thing. Uh, I can't put it there because that's where my elevator goes. So if I just get it all to pump into one area, like right here maybe. And I just run a long cable the whole way around. Alright, there we go. I got everything hooked up to one uh, pipe now. And all we have to do is grab this chest. And I'm actually just going to plug it into the ceiling right here. Should be okay right here. I know I teleport in. Let's see if this hinders my movement. No, it doesn't. So now let's say this goes in here. Does it come out in here? Maybe it went. Wait, oh, no, uh, I can't tell. Let me grab like a stack of cobblestone and put it in here and see if I can. It just yoinked the entire stack in one go. Well, it has to be going somewhere, and I believe it is going into here. So that's that one set up now. So we've got magma bees, quartz bees, and cobblestone bees running. So is there any other type of bee we can make right now? Like, uh, how do we make the stone bee? Like this regular stone bee? 
has to be merged with lava bees and cobble bees. Uh, we can't make the lava bee at the moment because we have we need to get into. Uh, wait, what? An unobtainium bee with a lava spawn egg has an eighty percent chance be, to be another spawn egg. I have no idea. I think there is all this mutation stuff. I haven't a clue how any of this mutation stuff works. Because it wasn't in the oh, the other, um, all the mod 6. So, uh, actually, the book might actually show me. We can actually make the book now, which is important. So, we've got the B basics. B, B mutation. Oh, this might be... Okay, it's not that big of a read. Let me read through it quickly. Uh, it just talks about bees that can change blocks and stuff. I have no idea how any of that works. Um, so, I might need to look up a video on how the bee mutation works. But it's pretty much the same. You put the block on the ground and the bee will go over to it, pollinate it, and go back to the hive and pop out that actual block. So, that's what I'm getting at. So, we have the quartz bee, the RGB. We could make the RGB. The RGB is actually not that big of a... Uh, problem so say if we were to make a bit more lapis and then compress it again we might have enough of this 21 that makes two of these okay I need way more I am out of lapis now oh uh, considering lapis is like one of the easy blocks for us to get but apparently not so, I just need four of it. So short. So short. Okay, so... We can't make the lapis bee yet. I'll see if I can get enough lapis off camera. Uh, so, glowing bee. Yeah, let's do the glowing bee. We can actually get this thing. So, shroom lights just require... This inside a botany pot. Um, do I actually get those if I harvest it? Because I don't know if that requires a hopping bon bonsai pot. And the only way to get it is by growing these warped fungus things. Do I even have any of that? I don't even have it, but I can craft one. So, I'll craft the warped fungus. Let me grab the pot. And I need nether warped nylium. Does it have to be nylium or can it be planted on something else? It has to be nylium, and there's no way I'm going to get it unless I put mushrooms in here with crimson nylium. And you only get this from a Bastion Hoglin stable. Um, yeah, I don't have any. Okay, well, that is out of the question, so I can't do the glowing bee as of yet. The ender bee? Nope. Beeper? Yeah, we can do the beeper. We could do the beeper. So, let's make ourselves a... Four pieces of uh, TNT. This will probably be the last bee we... Oh, it actually left the buckets behind. Yeah, this might be the last bee we make now today. So, and then hopefully by next episode, if I AFK overnight, we should have a, plen a plentitude of uh, comb built up that we can use to make upgrade our hives and then produce even more comb. So, hopefully that would be the case. So, this beeper... He is going to require blocks of gunpowder. Okay, that's new. So, gunpowder. And I'll just grab a stack of it. And we'll set you up now as well. In here. So, let me get this place ready. Alright, so the hive is now ready. So, we have to come down here. Spawn them in and duplicate them. So, mob imprisonment tool. And bee jars. So, spawn you in, capture you, put you here, and it's spawn in a couple of them, and then we'll leave it at that. Oh, I missed a spot. There we go. So, be free, bees. Why are you coming to me? So, yeah, there we go. If we look up at resourceful bees, we've got 32 cobble comb and quartz comb. So, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to end it there. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you all in the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>